one morning, the hour hand of a clock is pointing at the 38 minute mark. What time is this? We can think about this graphically. So if we look at where the 38 minute mark, well, the 35 would be at the seven and the 40 would be at the eight. So the 38 minute must be over here. Okay, so that'd be 36, that'd be 37, then 38. So what we know is that the hour hand pointing at this must be seven something. So the time at the moment must be seven something. We're gonna try and figure out what this minute is. So in order to solve this, we need to think about how the hour hand moves relative to the minute's hand. So we can do that by zooming in between the seven and eight. So if we do it, if we think about over here, let's say this would be seven, over here would be eight, then this would be 35 minutes and this would be 40 minutes. Now the hour hand would take 60 minutes to move from seven to eight. It takes one hour to go from seven o'clock to eight o'clock. So what does the minute do relative to that hour hand? Well, we already seen that we have 36, 37, 38, 39. So we have five steps, okay? So this is 36, 37, 38, 39. If we have five steps and it takes 60 minutes, that means each step must be 12 minutes long because that's what 60 divided by five is. So what that would mean is that if this stage here is seven o'clock, at this stage, it'd be 7.12, at this stage, it'd be 7.24, and over here at the 38, it'd be 7.36. So what is the time? It's 7.36, and since we're told it's the morning, it's in the a.m.